There are two reasons why this next recipe is going to rock. The first reason is, is because it's portion controlled. The second reason is because sometimes you're a little lazy. So stay tuned to see what I'm going to make. Today we're making chocolate chip cookies, but we're not going to be making up a huge batch of chocolate chip cookies because I don't need all those treats lying around the house and also because I don't have time for that. So we're going to make just a portion controlled single serving. This is going to make two cookies for us, or it can make one really big chocolate chip cookie. I'm going to show you how to make it in the microwave, the air fryer and the oven. And the best part about this recipe is that it involves no eggs. Many of those little single serve cookies that you see people making up in the oven or the air fryer, they involved using up like an entire egg. So your cookie tastes like an egg. So we're not doing that here. We're omitting the egg altogether and it still turns out perfect. Like I said, this recipe is so easy to make. So it's perfect when you're having one of those lazy nights and you don't want to get out all of your cooking ingredients. It's one of the benefits of making mug cakes too. And I have some mug cake recipes on my channel. You guys can click up here to watch those. Those are very, very easy dessert recipes that you can make as well. But this one is great for when you're craving chocolate chip cookies. To make these keto chocolate chip cookies, everything is going to be made in one bowl combined and then we're going to bake it. To a small bowl, we're going to add two tablespoons of almond flour, one teaspoon of coconut flour, one tablespoon of unsalted butter that's softened to room temperature, two teaspoons of monk fruit, or you can use the sweetener of your choice, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. For chocolate chips, I'm going to be using Chalk Zero chocolate chips. They're my favorite kind. They're sugar free, sugar alcohol free. I'll have a link down below on where you can purchase them. You can save 10% off your order when you use my code KETOFOCUS at checkout. But there's other different kinds of sugar free, keto approved chocolate chips out there. I know Lily's makes one too. So whatever brand you can get a hold of, you can certainly use. And if you can't get a hold of either of those brands, you know what works really good is just getting like 100% dark chocolate or like a baking chocolate bar that you get at the grocery store just chop that up into chunks and you can throw a little bit of it in your cookie dough we're gonna mix these ingredients up all together Then we're going to portion them out into two cookies or it can make one really big cookie. Now, if you really want to make some stellar keto chocolate chip cookies, I recommend popping them in the refrigerator for around like 10 to 15 minutes. So this is after you form the ball shape and kind of smash them down a little bit, pop them in the refrigerator, just that time when it's cooling, it allows all of the ingredients to just meld together and taste good. Plus when you bake them, they don't spread out so much either. Like I mentioned before, we're going to bake these three separate ways. The first way is in the oven. So you want to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees and we're going to put those cookies right into the oven. The second way that we're going to cook these keto chocolate chip cookies is in the microwave. So just pop them in the microwave for a few minutes. I'll have that full instruction listed down below. The last way we're gonna bake up these chocolate chip cookies is in the air fryer. So the air fryer is becoming increasingly popular for baking just because you can make these easy portion controlled desserts in them. So I finished all three cookies. As you can see, they all turned out a little bit different, which was kind of shocking to me, but also kind of expected. Like I figured the microwave cookie would be more flat and spread a little bit more just because it's higher heat. And in order to keep the cookie nice and fluffy, you need it to just kind of chill and then slowly bake in a hot place. So microwave, totally expected that. I didn't really expect it to look like somebody pounded it with a meat hammer, um, one of those meat tenderizers, but you know, I think it still looks pretty good. The air fryer cookie looks good too. Kind of overdid it a little bit, so definitely watch your baking time. And then the cookie in the oven turned out perfectly. After trying all three of the cookies, 
they actually all taste the same. And then, well, it's because we use the same dough for each of them. But even the baking methods, they all turned out very, very similar. My favorite one was actually the air fryer one, but I think that's because I let it go a little bit longer. So it kind of had almost a little burnt cookie taste to it, which I'm weird, but I like that. It's probably because when I was growing up, my mom always used to bake cookies and she always over baked them. So the edges got a little burnt and crispy. So I just, I kind of like that. But overall, they're soft, they're chewy, just a perfect, easy chocolate chip keto cookie that you can make. And really it comes down to how much time do you have or what appliance you have too. I mean, if you are just starving and just jonesing for a chocolate chip cookie, then definitely make it in the microwave. But if you have a little bit more time to spend, then I would do like the air fryer or the oven. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you tag me with your pictures of your single serve keto chocolate chip cookies on my social media. I am Keto Focus on Instagram and The Keto Focus on Facebook.